Good afternoon, friends and family. This is Michael Wolf Parsons coming to you from Wolf Customs in Neosho, Missouri. Well, today's a big day. Uh, for those of you who are the observant type, uh, if you look in the lower left-hand corner of your screen, you will notice a different wheel and tire on the front of the Humvee. Yes, that's my sponsored U.S. Wheel Corporation Rat Rod Series 20 by nine wheels. Wow, and boy, do we think they look great on there. Um, so uh, anyway, we uh, needless to say, we just got back from Joplin and uh, we got the front tires uh, mounted on our brand new set of wheels uh, and the rear tires uh, will be here tomorrow. So we had to do this in two stages. Uh, tonight's project is to swap out the spindles. I've been wanting to do some suspension revisions for a long time. I have a set of two inch drop spindles, but was able to use those because they required at least a 17 inch diameter wheel. And the wheels that I took off, of course, are 16s. So uh, by putting a stock spring back in it and these drop spindles, what I'm gonna do is end up getting uh, good suspension travel and I'll be able to get my uh, camber adjustment right because as you can see Or maybe you can't but the top of the wheel is leaned in so I have some negative camber problems Well, these drop spindles I believe are going to fix the problem so uh, sit back and uh, grab something cold to drink and I'm going to put this uh, on time-lapse mode and uh, see if you can keep up with me while I change these spindles out. for more talking. 
Um, okay, so friends, I, I didn't mention before, uh, I don't know if you could tell during the time lapse, it seemed like this front end came apart pretty quick. Uh, that might be due to the fact I already had it apart and when I put it back together, I used Permatex Anti-Seize Lubricant. So, um, basically, now this is the part where I do a spiel on anti-seas. Um, growing up in a body shop, messing with oily stuff, greasy stuff, it just wasn't my thing. And when I met my husband, the cameraman, say hello, cameraman. Howdy. Okay. Uh, that's the infamous Doc Parsons there. Um, he, uh, of course, he's done a lot more mechanical type work than I have. He's had engine shop, builds engines. He taught me that anti-seize is our friend. And he's right, because I put it on bolts, and then I go back and I work on something a year later, and I don't have to sit there and just fight bolts, all that rust, and maybe twisting bolts. So anti-seize is my friend. Uh, second, this is a part of the video which it gets a little sketchy, so I'm putting a stock coil spring in. Okay, it's not, it's not, been, it's not a lowering spring, it's the stock height. Now, this is, I'm going to show you a trick that I do. Uh, I, I hardly ever use spring compressors. I, I just, I don't like them. And so, normally what I do uh, is I loosen up the bolts on the lower control arm. And I get where that control arm just swings free like this. Okay? And so, partly that's because when I try to put springs in, sometimes you're fighting the tension that the bushings have on them when they're uh, tightened, you know, like uh, literally squeezed between the, the metal of the, you know, like of the frame or the cross member. So I, I loosen it up and then even with this stock spring, see now you can see, it's like, oh, all of a sudden, you know, I can get that in there, okay? So now, with this particular application, uh, it, the ball joint on this is going down. And not all the, like, you know, I used to do mess with a ton of Mustangs and the, their ball joints point up. So in that case, I would just, the depression underneath the, the A-arm is enough that you can just put this, you know, your jack, your typical four jack, and you catch, catch that depression and you just jack it up. Well, this doesn't really have a good depression so what we're going to do i've got this washer here and i'm going to put a washer underneath this and uh because i don't want the my jack i took take the top part off my jack and i don't want my jack i'm going to put that ball joint right down in there see like that and with that washer in there i don't have to worry about it messing up my my grease boot so now, and watch, now that I'm on live video, or maybe not live, but recorded, I won't be able to pull this off. But let's, let's just give this a try, okay? So, of course, we've got to, you've got to line up. Your A-arm is made that the, this coil will end up right there. So, and of course, everything's anti-seized. Uh, stay. I'm going to stick that up in there and I'm going to plop that up in there like that. Okay. And I'm just going to start jacking. Okay. So look at that. We're on our way, aren't we? It's pretty slick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this jacked up. My next step is I'm going to put the shock in there, and the shock's going to hold everything in place. And then I can, my last step, well, one of my last steps will be put the spindle back on. Or I mean the, yeah, the drop spindle. So, uh, folks, sorry about the mess. Like, my hair's not pretty, and my makeup may be kind of messed up by now but hey it's like warm in the shop and I'm a I'm a lady trying to get something done here so 
I'm not a supermodel, never claim to be, but I do know my stuff working on cars. You're my supermodel. Yeah, that's the right thing for him to say. <laughs> He's awesome. So I'm gonna put the camera back on time lapse and uh, we're gonna wrap this project up, okay? Thank you. Happy trails. before I started on the driver's side uh, just to kind of get an idea <clears throat> compare compare the, the two sides let me move this jack handle out of the way <laughs> okay so what I started with before of course this is a 2012 GMC uh, 3500 express van frame or Savannah frame whatever but anyway, Chevy, GMC, they're both the same. Uh, I cut it every which way but loose to make it work under the Humvee. So it's been narrowed, it's been shortened. I think I cut it in eight different pieces before I welded it back up. I also uh, seed, or I'm sorry, zed the front of the frame to, to give it a lower stance as well. And so originally I set it up with uh, Beltec lowering springs. They were two to three inches. Uh, and it gave me the, the right look, but I had hardly any uh, suspension travel. So, again, as I said earlier on the video, we just got done swapping it out with some two-inch drop spindles. So, uh, that, that gets us where we're at right now. And as you can see, the passenger side is up just a little bit higher than the driver's side. And I did accomplish, I did manage to get more... Uh, positive camber out of that tire it, To me it still looks like it's leaning in and it's adjusted all the way out right now, so There's plenty of material to slot and move that upper a arm out further if I wanted to um, I'll just cross that bridge when I get there obviously I want to get both sides done before I start uh, thinking about an alignment And, you know, and I also want to drive it tomorrow. I'll be going back to Joplin to get the rear wheels and tires put on. And that suspension might settle down a little bit. I think I need to just step back and look at it. I'm not sure that, I think I kind of like it. It may, I may not put it down quite as low as I had. In other words, I'd have to take it. A, about a half coil out to get it back to where it was and I think I'd rather just have the vehicle up just a little bit higher so that concludes uh, this video for tonight uh, I'm hopefully I can paste all these pieces together I think what I've made four or five short videos here and uh, maybe I can turn that into one video to post on YouTube so friends leave a comment below tell me what you think uh, give me your thoughts. Of course, you can't really tell much about the weight, the stance, because it's in the shop and I can't, you know, stand back far enough to really get an idea of the profile. But I will follow this video up with more. So please like the video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I want to thank my sponsors, of course, U.S. Wheel Corporation, uh, Headman Headers, uh, Derail Performance Products. Uh, kicker car audio uh, all these companies are really gone out of the way to help me and uh, so I'm very grateful for their help um, have a great evening thank you again for watching